Now, while the world watched in sadness and disbelief, the deadly bus crash touched so many people in and out of the hockey community. For a couple of Canadians who now live in Maine, the story hit very close to home. The team are still in hospital. As word traveled about the tragic bus crash in Saskatchewan over the weekend, the hockey world rallied. NHL arenas around North America were filled with tributes to the Broncos. Calgary Flames goalie and South Portland native John Gillies was one of hundreds of pro athletes who took to social media to express support for the Humboldt community. Closer to home, it was pretty devastating. Dan Lucas is currently the boys hockey coach at Chevers High School. Before that, he played for the Maine Mariners. Before that, he played junior hockey for the Humboldt Broncos. A lot of fond memories. I still have my hockey jacket that I have in my, down, hanging up downstairs in the basement when I played on that team. It's just part of, part of my history. Brad Church also played junior hockey in that area. The former Portland Pirate was hit especially hard by the news. I don't personally know anybody that, that lost a life or their families, but I spent the weekend just remembering you know, the bus racks and, and, and sitting there, you know. And For kids growing up in Canada, those long bus rides are a rite of passage, a sign that you've made it, and never a place where you had to worry about anything bad happening. It's every little boy's dream, you know, to be, have your face frozen to the window at 2 in the morning going from Regina to Moose Jaw. Um, yeah, it really is. And, for these young guys, it really was a sanctuary. It was a safe place. No matter, you know, if you missed mom or you had a bad game or coach had you in the doghouse, you know, when you climbed on that bus, you had 20 brothers. There was a GoFundMe page set up to help the families of the victims in the bus accident. Last check, donations totaled just under $6 million.